Hey guys, it's Linda Hobson back with you again, your hashtag online BFF, and this is video number 29 out of my 35 video challenge in seven days. And in this video, I want to talk about some cool tools that I've uh, learned about recently that have to do with making your pictures um, do some special things. You can do some special things with your pictures, if, especially if you like to post pictures on Facebook or Instagram or programs like that, social media like that. And the first place we're going to go to is clippingmagic.com, C-L-I-P-P-I-N-G, magic.com. I brought up a picture of my great niece on her first birthday, and um, on, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the green button, and you're going to color in everything you want to keep, and then you're going to click on the red button, and you're going to color in everything that you want to take away. And what you get is a picture that's like a transparency, where there's no background, and you can place it on top of another image and not have that white square around it and um you can, uh, there is some a cost to this. It, there is a monthly fee. I think it's 15 photos that you can edit a month for about $1.99 or $2.99 a month. And then if you are going to use it a lot, um, there are other uh, subscriptions to it for more money a month, but you get more photos to edit per month. And um, so then, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that photo and we're going to go over to our smartphone. And I love this new app. I did want to learn all about superimposing. Um, and so I wanted to know if there was a superimposing app on your iPhone. Now, I don't know if this is available on other smartphones. I have an iPhone. And um, it is called Superimposing or Superimposer. It has a picture of a hot air balloon. And when you open it up, it is going to give you a screen that looks like this. And you're going to click on the upper left corner where there's their, the uh, two squares. And you're going to... Um, it's going to take you to your photo library where you're going to choose what you want for your background first. So um, once you click on those double squares, it's going to take you to your photo library. And um, because it was a birthday, I decided to choose balloons. So I chose the balloons that look like this. And then once you choose, it's going to bring you to a screen like this. And this is where you can edit it. If you need to make it bigger or smaller, I'm not sure if you can turn it. I haven't played that much with the background because I didn't really need to. Um, but you edit it the way you want. And then you click the lower right corner where it says choose. You click that and it's going to bring it back into the app. And then you're going to go back up to the left upper corner, click the double square again, and you're going to click on new foreground. It's going to take you back to the picture library, and that's where you pick the picture that you want on top of the background. So, of course, I chose the picture I had already edited where there's no background. It's just her cut out from my great niece from her birthday party. And when I chose that, then it comes up like this where you can edit it. And then if you need to make it smaller or larger, and then, um, and then you choose, and it's going to come on this screen and you're going to click on that transform that's lit up in blue with the crooked square and it's going to let you make it t push it around if you want it up upper to the left to the right upper or lower make it bigger turn it to a certain direction and edit it the way you want so you're going to get this picture and then you click the double uh, line with the arrow pushing down at the upper left and it's going to merge the two and you get this picture which turned out to be a wonderful picture of my great niece on her first birthday